So this is uh, now the fifth level of the defense in depth concept applicable in operation, that is uh, emergency preparedness. So plant operators and public authorities should be prepared to face emergency situations that could imply countermeasures such as home confinement or neighborhood evacuation. This uh, organization includes a crisis team at the local level, that is at the plant level, and at national levels. And there are four types of control center involved in this organization. Uh, a, a level a center of action, which is mainly on the plant, a level of uh, expertise, uh, a level of decision, and a level of uh, communication. These uh, four uh, elements of the organizations are organized here uh, in the four circle. And uh, uh, you can see here the, uh, the utility level. In that case, this is uh, the French organization. Though, uh, and the, the public authority uh, with the, uh, the local level and uh, the national level, the, mainly the regulators and other public uh, authority. So <coughs> at each level, there are the, the various uh, center communicate between them along this uh, circle. This is uh, the uh, action uh, level at, on the plant, that's basically the control room and the person in charge of uh, taking care of the workers not affected by, by the, the accident. Then there is a, the decision uh, line, which involves uh, people said, for, first of all, at the plant, the plant uh, director, and uh, at the uh, national level, the CEO, uh, but uh, also the uh, representative of uh, the regulator uh, on site, and of course here, the, uh, the, the level of the ASN, the uh, Autorité de Sûreté Nucléaire, the national regulator. They are, in order to be able to, uh, to manage uh, and to make some prediction of the potential evolution of the, the accident, there is a, another uh, circle of uh, experts, uh, first uh, at the, the plant level, but also at the national uh, level, and also uh, for the, uh, uh, the authorities. And uh, <coughs> last but not least, uh, the communication uh, between uh, the operator at the local and, and national level and uh, the, the authority. So all these uh, various uh, centers communicate between them and uh, between the different uh, level in order to be able to take the best decision and to be uh, as clear as possible on the consequences of the accidents and to inform uh, the public on uh, what's going on and uh, what could be the, uh, the future evolution of the situation. So this uh, organization involves about uh, 100 peoples. They are on call 24 hours a day and seven days a week. These uh, emergency plans and all the organization are really exercised at the local and national level and sometimes even with some uh, public participation and uh, also in some cases with the neighboring countries because uh, uh, you may have some uh, nuclear plants uh, close to a border and the, uh, the neighbor con country could be uh, involved and uh, has to take uh, decision and potential measure. So, um, this uh, organization was uh, upgraded after Fu Fukushima uh, on the uh, operator level to uh, allow the deployment of uh, what we call a quick action tax force uh, within 24 hours, able to bring on site additional equipment such as power sources, water capacity, and uh, uh, also to take over control of the plant because uh, you know, if several units uh, are affected uh, on the plant there will be the need for uh, additional operators to come and to be able to, uh, to operate the plant and to try to, to 
protecting in a safe condition.